this video we're talking about consecutive integers and when we say consecutive we mean numbers that are just one right after another so for example one two three are consecutive integers negative one zero and positive one are all consecutive integers as are negative three negative two negative one and if you're not sure whether three numbers are consecutive integers you can always plot them on your number line so for example one two and three if we start at the first integer and then we go to the other two this is one two and three right these three integers here and because we can connect them like this we know they're consecutive negative one zero and one we have negative one we have zero and we have positive one we can connect those three we also have here negative three negative two and negative one because we can connect those without lifting up our pencil we know that those are consecutive integers also so now we have this problem where we need to find three consecutive integers such that the sum of the first and the third integer is 146. Well, we can do this by calling our first integer x, and if our integers are consecutive, then our second integer is going to be x plus 1. Our third integer is going to be x plus 2. Now this should make sense to us. We can always test ourselves because if we pretend that our first integer is 1, as in this consecutive integer series here, if we say our first integer is 1, then we're going to plug in 1 for x and see what we get. So plugging in 1 for x here, we get 1. Plugging 1 in for x here, we get 1 plus 1 is 2. And plugging 1 in for x here, we get 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. And we can see here that we get three consecutive integers, 1, 2, and 3. So we're representing these consecutive integers as x, x plus 1, and x plus 2. So our first one here, this is our first integer, our second integer, and our third integer. What this problem is asking us to do is add the first and the third together and get 146. So we want the sum of the first and the third, which means add them together. We have our first integer x and our third integer x plus 2, so plus x plus 2. And we want to know when this is equal to 146. Remember, is always means equal. So equal to 146. And now we just need to solve this equation for x. So x plus x is 2x plus 2 is equal to 146. If we subtract 2 from both sides, we're going to get positive 2 minus a negative 2 is 0, and 2x plus 0 is still 2x. And then 146 minus 2 on the right-hand side gives us 144. Dividing both sides by 2, we'll get the 2's to cancel over here, leaving us with just x, is equal to 72. Now that we know that x is equal to 72, remember we said our first term was x, so we can say that our first term is going to be 72. Our second term is x plus 1, or 72 plus 1, which is 73. And then our third term is 72 plus 2, or 74, so we can say our third term is 74. These are going to be our three consecutive integers. Remember, we were asked for three consecutive integers. We know that they're consecutive because we can see 72, 73, 74. And we know that the sum of the first and the third is 146 because we can take 72 and 74 and add them together. 2 plus 4 is 6. 7 plus 7 is 14, so we get 146. We double check ourselves that way, that the sum of the first term and the third term is 146. So we know that these are our three consecutive integers.